The Magical Realm. It is a mysterious world which is inhabited by witches, warlocks, and fairies. It was this strange locale that Arus, a human, was suddenly thrown into. She began living with Sheila and Eva, who were apprentice witches her age, and the things that happened around them were always quite bizarre. What kind of adventures will they find themselves playing a part in now? Magic Library. The Mobile Magic Library? Right. It can travel between the dimensions and it comes back once in a while. About every three years. Let's go. You guys should study on your own. Aww. Hold on a minute, Sheila. Where are we going? I'm sure that they'll have rare spell books inside. Ones that we normally would not never see. We can't miss this. They'll have rare spell books? Want to check it out? Yeah. We really can't miss this. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah, tell me about it. something too, right, Eva? Yeah, a lot of different recipes are written inside here. Let's see now, where's the good one? For example, meat that turns you into a giant, or sorbet that makes you talk fast, or bat-flavored pasta. Huh? What the... Refreshes you? Wonder what that means. Does it clear your head like you're a fish in a mountain spring? I sure could use some of that right about now. I wish my head could feel as refreshed as a fish in a cool mountain spring. Are you really gonna make it, Eva? You just leave it to me, Arus. I'll whip up this soup that clears up your head right now, and we'll have your noodle fish in a mountain spring fresh in no time. Well, 
I'm all yours. Let's see now. The ingredients are... Ingredients. Canned smoked dragon tuna cheek, a long-armed flyweevil, kabuyan pickles, three bunches of dancing onions. Hmm, what else? Uh -huh. A fist-sized rock from Fire Blazing Mountain, two tablespoons of toad oil, just a dash of salty earthworm, one stalk of some dried illusionary herb, one drop of moonlight water, one drop of white wind water, uh -huh. one drop of blue wind water, a single cup of criminal wine, a pinch of rainbow herb. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we have everything here in the house. That's amazing. How to cook. Pour water into an iron pot till it's half full and let it boil. Done. Turn off the fire once. Add a drop of moonlight water. And to begin cooking, recite the spell Omega Al Dali Ota. Omega Al Dali Ota! Okay, done. The hot water will react to the moonlight water. And when you see the crescent shaped steam, add the ingredients one by one. At medium heat, add the entire long armed fly weevil, the cabillon pickles, the three bunches of dancing onions, and lastly, drop in the rock from Fire Blazing Mountain. At this time, you say the following. To everything that invites death, let this rock be your guide. Softly. To everything that invites death, let this rock be your guide. <sighs> Softly. When the ingredients come to a boil and the long-armed flyweevil falls apart, put the spices in to enhance the flavor. Two tablespoons of toad oil, a dash of salty earthworm, one illusionary herb. Now the time has come to add the main ingredient, dragon tuna cheek. But as you must be well aware, dragon tuna and long-armed flyweevils are bitter enemies. So if you put those two in the same pot, it'll be dangerous as they'll start fighting. In order to prevent this, it's necessary to cast a spell that will put these ingredients to sleep. Let's see. Hold the white wind water in your right hand and the blue wind water in your left. Then pour an equal amount of each at the same time. Before it goes in, recite Ita Odaliota. When pink steam comes out in the shape of a full moon, it's all done. There! Now those ingredients are asleep. It smells better than I thought it would. Just a little longer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. It's just that I'm starving. Boil on high heat and add the seasoning. One cup of criminal wine, a pinch of rainbow herb, and close the lid. <sighs> Get into position when the broth is about to boil over as the lid will pop right off. Oh, I hope it boils over soon. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh. And now, to finish the soup, the very last thing is to wipe out the breath dragon. <laughs> Done. There we go. Here, Arus. Mm. And yours, Sheila. Thanks. And this one's for me. Well, down the hatch. Yep, down the hatch. Hold on a second. Huh? Hey, Sheila, you shouldn't be reading books at the table. Eva went through a lot to make this soup. Yeah, I guess not. It's just that you never know when the mobile magic library is going to move to a different location. I was thinking I had to hurry up and finish reading this book. Sorry about that, Eva. <laughs> Fine, as long as you get it. Well, I'm digging in, guys. Um, thanks for cooking. I'm digging in, too. Oh, oh it's so good. Another winner, Eva. It's good, all right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Times. If you're used to studying old books like these, then you would have known all about these symbols. It's so obvious! I'm sorry for not studying hard enough. No. <laughs> Poor thing. So, now that our heads are fishes, what happens next? Oh, yeah. The spell's supposed to make our heads clear. That's right. The spell description goes on. 
volume two? Huh? What? What is it? This book is the first volume. The rest of it's in volume two. Where is volume two? Where is it? I only borrowed the first volume. After all, just one of these books is so heavy and everything. What? That means we've got no choice but to go to a library looking like this? Oh, this is so uncool. This isn't good. Huh? I wonder if the mobile magic library is even still there. Uh, what do you mean by that? Oh, that's right. This is bad. Really bad. Atalia ordered us to. She said to read a lot of books. I know Atalia ordered us to. When I see all those tiny letters, my head starts to pound. I know Atalia ordered us to. We'll just have somebody else do the reading and get the scoop from them later. I wonder if we can find someone. A sucker we can con into doing this. This is bad, way bad. They're the last ones we wanted to see here. What now? I don't know what to say. No, but Sheila. Yo, it's Arus and gang, right? <gasps> What's up with you guys? Those are some weird threads you've got on. <laughs> is that what people are calling a fashion statement these days? Why? No, how did you know it was us? 
Do you even need to ask? If you see three apprentice witches lined up together in the order of small, medium, and big, it's got to be Sheila, Arus, and Eva, right? They saw right through it. <sighs> We're easy to spot in a group of three. We should go separately. Uh, no! I don't want to be all by myself! We were all going to go find a quiet spot somewhere and just hang out. You guys want to tag along? Uh, no thanks. It's okay. See ya! It's fine as long as we're not seen together, right? Hey, all you pilot guys! Huh? <sighs> there isn't anything more, more exciting, exciting than, than this dumb library. <gasps> What's going on? You worthless bunch of out of control pilots! Stop doing that! Stop bothering us! Enough already! <gasps> Why is this always happening? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hold on! <gasps> the library is closed. We're moving to a new location. Oh, if this is regarding a book you wish to return, you could have just done so on our next cycle. No! Th that's not what I meant! We want to read the next one! Volume two of this? If so, then that person has it. Huh? She's lived strictly in this library for many years now, for the purpose of writing a book of her own, even as the library moved to various locations. Here. Thanks, a bunch. Found it. Where? What does it say? After preparing and drinking the soup that turns her head as clear as a fish in the mountain spring, the spell goes on. Um, let's see now. What is it already? More cooking? No. The spell goes on to say that the next thing you have to do is peel off a hundred scales from your head which has turned into a fish. What? Scales? Scales? Head into town. If you manage to make one person laugh, then one scale will peel off. If you make a hundred laugh until their stomachs hurt, then all the scales will peel off as soon as that happens. And your head will be totally refreshed as well. The library is closed. Too much. Woo, my sides. Come on, come on, step right in and feast your eyes. Just one look and you'll leave refreshed and relaxed from head to toe, guaranteed. You'll be sorry if you miss it. Step right up, step right up. <laughs> oh, that felt good. <laughs> I haven't laughed this hard in so long. <laughs> Those last three were numbers 96, 97, and 98. Only two more left. Hang in there. All right, we're gonna make it. These two customers are all that's left. Huh? Huh? <gasps> huh?
Today, I'm going to tell you about the fireball spell. The first thing that you need for this kind of magic is an Ignis Fairy. The fur from its body is the main spell component. And the incantation for it, in the language of the magical realm, is Alpha Carbon Vegan Day Iota. Actually, I'm not that good at memorizing incantations, but Arus came up with a way to say it in code. The fireball spell became be kind to other people. <laughs> That's how I remember it. <laughs> but every now and then I still have some trouble using it. Remember, when you cast this magic, make sure it's in a safe place with an adult. Bye!